So Kat, obviously as a UFC fighter, you have, uh, you've undergone plenty of injuries. Do you want to tell me a little bit about the history of the injuries you had, any major injuries that you had, or anything you're going through right now? So um, there's a lot of common injuries between MMA fighters. Uh, we have, you know, interesting posture that is very bad posture, you know, for walking around in life. But um, in the sport, in order to be able to protect ourselves, we often have to curve our backs, you know, um, keep our shoulders in awkward positions, things like that. So um, with that and the structural part of it, we end up having different spine things going on. I have a couple, uh, like, injuries that have been issues in the past, um, something that I also want to get you looking at today. And uh, I blew my knee at one point, I had an ACL reconstruction. Um, let's see, fingers, toes, all kinds of <laughs> little irritants at different times, but um, you know, a lot of wear and tear, a lot of bumps and bruises, but all things that uh, done a pretty good job of healing. You know, I still like to put some work in on them though. So as a professional athlete and being around other professional athletes, there are some career ending aspects that come up. Um, obviously, age, injury, uh, nutrition, all those things. Do you see in your practice any of this actually extending people's careers? Absolutely. I mean, I think I think as athletes, especially when you're young, you guys think you're superstars and and untouchable and injury free, and nothing's going to happen to you. And and we always say like, the better the athlete, the better the cheater, because the better the athlete you are, the easier and the more you're gonna compensate for you know faulty movement patterns or or back mechanics when you run or when you punch or, or whatever you do. But when you're 20, 18, you know 25, nothing happens to you. But as you're getting older and older and older, you know you start getting those nagging pains and those injuries. And so we go back to the original causes of those injuries and, and we address you know. The, the the lack of mobility in your ankle, the lack of mobility in your hip, you know, before there was any pain, and, and we address those, and a lot of the times by addressing those, it helps with your fighting mechanics, it helps with your baseball pitching mechanics, and it does extend those careers, and we see that, we see that happening quite a bit.